We've got some thrilling news today that's pushing the boundaries of space exploration even further. SpaceX has just conducted a static fire test with the Flight 5 hardware B-12, giving us a sneak peek into the incredible power of this massive rocket. This is just a taste of what's to come, and I can't wait to share more. Plus, we've got some exciting updates on Falcon 9 and Blue Origin's new Glenn. Early on July 15th, Highway 4 was closed and the launch pad was cleared. By 9.05 a.m., the orbital launch mount was venting and just 30 minutes later the fuel loading process began, with frost quickly forming. Interestingly, this time, while the liquid oxygen was fully loaded, the methane tank was only about a third full. At 10.13 a.m., the moment we had all been waiting for finally arrived. B-12's engines roared to life, producing a massive plume of dust and smoke with the distinctive mock diamond effect clearly visible. This was a powerful reminder of previous official flights. During the test, some objects were seen rising from the dust and smoke, which turned out to be harmless bits of paper or ash from burned materials posing no threat to the test or the surrounding area. After the test, the remaining fuel was unloaded and the frost on the rocket gradually melted away. Venting continued from both the booster and the tank farm as everything returned to normal. The static fire test lasted about 8 seconds and involved all 33 engines, a typical duration for such tests, indicating everything is functioning as expected. SpaceX confirmed the success with a tweet. Full duration static fire of Flight 5 Super Heavy Booster with 33 engines firing. It generated over 7,500 tons or 16.8 million pounds of thrust. Now let's shift gears to Falcon 9. After a brief delay, SpaceX has successfully tested the second stage of this rocket, signaling they're ready to resume operations. Following an incident with the second stage during the Starlink L-93 mission on July 11th, Falcon 9 operations were put on hold. SpaceX and the FAA have been working together on a mishap investigation to pinpoint the issue and prepare for its resolution. Given SpaceX's fast-paced operations, they're keen to address these problems quickly. Recently, as part of the investigation, they conducted tests on a second stage at the McGregor Test Facility, possibly including a static fire to check the Merlin engine's performance. Reflecting on the previous flight, the engine experienced a liquid oxygen leak that led to frost forming on its exterior, preventing the engine from propelling the second stage and its payload to the intended altitude. Subsequent tests reported no issues, showing that the engine and hardware are functioning correctly. This suggests the problem with the second stage engine during the last flight was an isolated incident, likely due to the manufacturing process, rather than a widespread production error. Moving on, we have updates on Blue Origin and the debut mission of New Glenn, particularly its payload. The Escapade spacecraft, built by Rocket Lab, is nearly ready for launch. Escapade consists of two identical small sets named Blue and Gold, which will orbit Mars. These spacecraft are equipped with instruments to study Mars' magnetosphere and its interaction with solar winds. While Blue has completed environmental testing, Gold is currently undergoing final vibration tests. Rob Lillis from the University of California Berkeley Sciences Laboratory shared during a presentation at the Committee on Space Research's 45th Scientific Assembly on July 15th. It's incredibly rewarding to see years of work on these two probes coming to fruition. The launch of Escapade has attracted significant attention, even more than the mission itself. Scheduled to fly aboard New Glenn's inaugural mission under a NASA task order awarded in February 2023. Valued at $20 million, Escapade is set to orbit Mars. Despite earlier indications, the exact launch date is still uncertain. During an April meeting of a COSPAR Planetary Protection Committee, a NASA official suggested a tentative launch date of September 29th for Escapade. 
However, the Escapade website lists this date as a placeholder, indicating it might change. Lillis mentioned that the mission is set for launch this fall, noting that a September launch date mentioned in one slide was outdated. The launch window for Mars missions this year extends roughly through mid-October. NASA continues to monitor New Glenn's progress. Earlier this year, Blue Origin's rocket was assembled and moved to the LC-36 launch pad, where it was stacked vertically. Recently, the company has also been conducting tests with New Glenn's launch system, indicating everything is on track. If Escapade launches this fall, the spacecraft will arrive at Mars 48 hours apart in September 2025 and begin their one-year prime science mission in April 2026. Alongside other NASA missions, this spacecraft is poised to usher in a new era of exploration on Mars. After the drama of lunar exploration, the race to Mars is just as exciting. From the incredible power of SpaceX's B-12 static fire test, to the exciting progress of Falcon 9 and the upcoming debut of Blue Origin's new Glenn, the space industry is buzzing with activity. What do you think? Will Flight 5 happen in August or September? Share your prediction by leaving the number 8 or 9 corresponding to the month uh, in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.